All right, so I'm going to compare taxes you pay when you're in retirement versus the taxes you pay while you're working in your uh, steady paycheck or your petty stay check job. I came across this article from GoBankingRates.com, and uh, I found this is incredibly interesting, actually, very insightful, but I want to dive deeper. How much the average person from your state will pay in taxes? We're not all that different when it comes to taxes. I completely, completely agree. I think people pay way too much issue on income taxes and not enough on property taxes, frankly. Property taxes is the big one, but way too much. Yeah, it just We're not Sweden. We're not. We're the United States of America. America. The vast majority of us aren't paying that much in taxes. I get, I get it. People say, ah, rah, rah, taxes are theft. Rah, rah, rah. You know, give me back my taxes. Rah, rah. I get it, man. The vast majority of us just aren't paying huge amounts. They're just not. And, and as such, I think this whole thing on income taxes is stupid. And again, as a Republican, I wish the Republicans would get off the tax stuff and go on to other things. Maybe and fight the cultural issues, huh? Because it seems that Democrats are winning that. Well, we're stuck on stupid with taxes because we just don't pay that much. All right, so well, I'm going to show you a couple of things. We're going to go down to Georgia. I thought this was interesting. We're going to find, yeah, right there, George, Georgie, Georgie, Porgy. All right, so the median household income is 63000 bucks. Your total taxes you pay, Mary filing jointly, are $11,000. And I'll show you what we're, this is interesting. I, I, this, is, this is a great, great piece. $11,000, we'll say $12,000 on $63,000. That means you're paying a 19% effective tax rate. That's your total income taxes paid. 12,000 bucks on 63,000. So again, I'll show you what it did. We take the 12,000, we divide that by 63. That's 19% effective tax rate in the state of Georgia if you're meeting income. That's, so you're keeping $4 every five. All right. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to say, uh, oh, let's go to the state of freaking Maine. We'll say Maine. So Maine, median household income is fifty-eight thousand, and you're paying ten thousand dollars of taxes. Wow! So ten thousand bucks on fifty-eight, you're paying seventeen point two percent. Not a significant difference. I mean, it's lower, but it's enough to up and move. No. Now let's go to New Hampshire. This is where you're going to be like, wait a second, New Hampshire. The median household income is eighty-one thousand dollars, and you're paying seventeen thousand dollars of taxes. How could that be? New Hampshire doesn't have an income tax, huh? 17 divided by 81 is 21% effective tax rate. Oops, I can't really see that camera. 21% effective tax rate. So even though there's no state income tax in New Hampshire, the fact is you're in a higher, uh, you're paying more taxes because you're making more money. All right. You can see California's going to be less. New Jersey's going to be uh, less than New Hampshire. I mean, isn't that interesting? So how could that possibly be? Well, we'll show you here in just a second. All right. So what, what what's happening here? I want to show you. So methodology, in order to find out how much the average person from your state will pay in taxes, we found each state's median household income from the 2020 census, all right? Uh, we use in-house in income tax calculator to find the, both the effective and the marginal tax rates. The calculations were done for a person filing taxes as a single and a marriage filing couple jointly using the standard deduction and the total tax burden for each state. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Georgia. I wanna show you how this, how this works, because I, I find this incredible. And we got a median household income of 62,844. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to smartasset.com. We're gonna say we're in Milton, Georgia, and what was the median there? 62,844, right there, 62,844. All right, smartasset.com, we're gonna type in here, blank. All right, good. And then we're gonna hit, we have two exemptions, that's it, we're gonna hit enter. All right, smartasset.com says our, our federal income tax, so they're saying we pay 11,500 in total income taxes. We go back here, 11,800 in total income tax. So pretty doggone close. What does that consist of? That consists of FICA, which is the biggest tax we pay. The state of Georgia, the biggest tax you pay is FICA. Huh, does that mean anything for you who are getting or seeing this? FICA, what does not get paid in retirement? FICA tax. So we're only paying our effective tax rate to the federal government is only 6.5%, but our FICA is 7.65. Our state effective tax rate is only 4 So our total effective tax rate on income is 18%. 
not a huge issue. I'm just sorry it's not, especially when you factor in almost half that goes to FICA alone. What goes away when you're on Social Security? Oh, yeah, FICA. All right. But then we keep going down. We say, oh, our total tax burden, burden property tax, 2600 bucks plus fuel tax, plus sales tax. So our total tax burden is about 25% effective tax rate. Hope that makes sense. 25% of tax, effective tax rate with income, 11547 right there, plus your sales tax, plus your uh, your fuel tax, plus your property tax. What goes away once we're in uh, retirement? This one right here does. I'm going to share with you something. Let's just hang tight with me because you'll see where I'm going with this. And we're going to say you have a $250,000 house as the median uh, for your county. I live in Fulton County for a $250,000 house, 25%. All right. So now let's type in, uh, now, this will make sense here in just a second. We're going to type in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Portsmouth, uh, New Hampshire. And I think they say the median, what do we say? The median was about 80000 bucks. All right. Good. There you go. And we're married filing jointly. We got two exemptions because New Hampshire doesn't have an income tax anyway. 12,310, all right? And so look, there are 15.639% effective tax. Notice state and local, there's no state income tax in New Hampshire. But you, because you made more money, you got to pay more FICA tax and you still have more federal income tax to pay as well. So we've gone up from, I think it was like, a, I forgot what our effective tax rate was, six and three quarters, I think, in Georgia. Now it's a seven and three quarters. 6,100 bucks to the feds, another 6,100 bucks for his FICA, but nothing for the state. Oh, but wait, 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 oh, my lands. No sales tax in New Hampshire either, but we do have a pretty significant property tax. So we were at 22% as our effective tax burden in, in uh, New Hampshire versus Georgia. Not a significant difference, my friends. You see where I'm going with that. All right, so now we're going to type in, I don't know, we'll just say Portland, Maine. Port, how do you spell it? Portland, Maine. I just want to show you this because Maine is not known to be tax favorable. And we're gonna say $60,000 is the mean in income in the great state of Maine. Portland's in Cumberland County, so it's gonna be more tax heavily than it will be in other parts of Maine, but be as it may. Oh my goodness, we have an effective state income tax in Maine at two and a half percent on 60,000 bucks. All right, so you can see right here, our total taxes right here are 16.51 on the state, on the feds, and on FICA, which is lower, I think it was lower than New Hampshire, and certainly lower than Georgia. Now we go down here, our effective our percent is, is because of high property tax in Cumberland County, Maine. If you live in a different state, a different county would be different. Sales tax, fuel tax, and income tax. All right, so we got 15000 bucks on $60,000 of income. It's basically a 25% effective tax rate. You're not getting around the effective tax rate, man. It's that you're going to pay about 20 to 25% regardless of where you live. All right, until you hit retirement. All right, so when I, now what I want to do here is I want to go to, uh, uh, we're going to go back to Georgia built in georgia and we already talked about you know what we do okay good all right sweet all right so milton georgia right here we're paying uh six we got sixty thousand dollars of earned income yeah there we go married all right good 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 that's fantastic all right so we got an effective tax rate of 18 percent an effective tax rate of uh percent of income tax 25 percent when you factor in the, the property tax or fuel sales tax and fica all right but now we're going to go to Overview of Georgia retirement tax. And we're going to say we have $30,000 of Social Security, which we'll have more, and $30,000 of retirement income from required distributions, IRA, I don't care. It doesn't matter. We're going to say you're born in 1954. Huh. Huh. Nothing in the state of Georgia in income tax. Nothing. Huh. What's our federal taxes? Oh, 1100 bucks. Hmm. So if we go back to this guy right here, we just saved while we're uh, working, we saved all this right here, all that. We saved $11,000 of income tax on the same amount of money. Well, I guess 10,000 because we had a, uh, we got a, we still had to pay 1100 bucks to the feds once we retired. The same amount of money, but we saved $10,000 of taxes. You see where I'm going? You got no FICA. Federal income tax is minimal. There's no state income tax here in the state of Georgia. Huh. Now we still got to pay property tax. I don't know what the homestead exemption is in Fulton County. Once you're over 65, I have no idea. You still got to pay sales tax and you still got to pay this. So even if we factor in all these still being the same, it's about five, what's that, 2,600 bucks, 
2663 plus 470 plus 1205 is about 4300 bucks. All right, plus, so we still have to pay $4,300 in taxes plus $1,000 we had to pay because we uh, had 11, uh, because we had to get from our IRA 30,000 here. So plus 1100, we're still paying 5,400 bucks in taxes divided by $60,000. That's an effective tax rate of 9.06 uh, on $60,000 of income to include property and fuel and sales tax. Now, if we just say Social Security is $60,000, 2500 bucks per, all right, zero here, just for a simple, for giggles, we pay nothing to the state of Georgia, oh, and we pay nothing to the feds. So the only thing we're done here now is we're paying freaking 5000 bucks, it's 4300 bucks on $60,000 of income, 43 divided by $60,000 of income. A 7.1% effective tax. All right, it's just, it's freaking nuts. I wish people understood how, how great it is to retire. Your tax rates drop so much. So we're going go to go back to um, to Portland, Maine. All right. We're going to say the same thing. Household income, uh, 60000 bucks. <clears throat> so right now we're paying total tax about 9900 bucks, And we're going to say we're in Maine. And now we're going to say we're, we're going to come here. I wish I could just change the state right here. Think do I gotta go back? I change where I'm at. Let's see if I can go right here, Portland, Maine. Let's see if it allows me right there. And we got 04108. There we go. Peace out. Well, I guess I gotta get out of Georgia. I'm not stupid. All right, so we'll just go back here just a second. Hold on. It says, it says Maine is uh, not tax friendly for retirees. Well, let's take a look, is it? I, I challenged him, but we'll go here and check it out. I mean, I love this, the calculator. We're going to say uh, 04108, 04107. I will say 04107, 04107. There we go. Cape Liz, there we go. Cape Liz, Maine. We got $60,000 of Social Security. We're married finally jointly. We're at the median household income. Um, we pay nothing to the state, we pay nothing to the feds. Yeah. And if we go back here, and we're going to say we're in, what did I say, Maine, yeah, right there, um, we pay, uh, well, it's, it's Cumberland County, is going to be the same. So we're going to say we pay uh, property tax, 3400 bucks plus another $1,000 of sales tax. What does this mean? Just let's double check. I can't remember if it's Maine. Hold on one sec. What's this? Okay, there we go. Pay a thousand bucks. It's about fifteen hundred bucks plus another thirty-five hundred dollars in property tax. Um, yeah, and so we're paying. Uh, what's that? About uh, about five thousand dollars in taxes on sales, property, and fuel tax in the state of Maine on sixty thousand dollars of income. Yeah, that's not so bad. I, I'm just sorry. You, that's that's not a big burden. It's just not. Now, if you say, all right, we got sixty thousand dollars of uh, IRA money. Or uh, Social Security was go back to 3030, like we did in Georgia. Um, I mean, and I'm just telling you, man, it, it just people just gripe about it. It's just not that big of a deal. Now we got $30,000 of IRA money, $30,000 of Social Security. Oh, look here. You still pay nothing to the state in, in income tax. Nothing. You pay 1100 bucks in feds. But yet, Maine is not tax friendly. Okay. All right, so let's say now we got sixty thousand dollars of IRA money on top of thirty thousand dollars of income. We're gonna pay a fifteen hundred bucks to state taxes on ninety five thousand dollars, ninety thousand dollars of income. Just not a big deal. Your property tax doesn't change. Your sales tax doesn't change. If any, if anyone wants you to know, it's not that big of a deal too. All right, and of course, if you do it the better way, you say let's do forty five and forty five just for simplicity. Um, you have more social security, less taxes can go from 1486 to 600 bucks. It's just, I'm telling you, man, it's, you don't have to move to New Hampshire to avoid this stuff. It's nuts. All right. So now let's, uh, everyone says Massachusetts, so we can go to mass. I don't even know what to, uh, I'm, I'm actually we're at 15 minutes. So I think we're done. Anyway, that's the difference between taxes and retirement and the difference between taxes while working. While working, your income is W2 income or 1099. I right, self-employed. You're paying income on that. When you're retired, if it's based on Social Security, it's, I, I cannot stress this enough. Social Security is so much more tax favorable than, than people realize. Part two of that, you don't no longer pay FICA. All right, the FICA is 7.65. That is the biggest tax you pay here in the state of Georgia right now if you're at the median income. That's just a fact. That's gone. Never mind the fact you're not paying into 401ks and all that crap, too. I'm just telling you right now. 
Huge difference. Huge, which is why the whole 80% pre-retirement income is so freaking stupid and dastardly. It's just dumb. All right, love your thoughts. We'll see you.